Hello, today we're going to talk about some of the banking options for Hong Kong and Singapore and indeed some other jurisdictions. So firstly, the traditional banks, so the likes of HSBC, DBS, OCBC, uh, and some of the China banks that are in Hong Kong, um, such as uh, Shanghai Commercial, Fubon, um, and also some of the international banks such as Barclays and RBS, Standard Bank and Lloyds, etc. Um, optically, these tend to have good standing. People recognize the name um, and have a good feeling about them. And that might be important for third party stakeholders such as investors or people loaning you money. They do, however, tend to have legacy systems. So their internet banking might not be very good. Um, they may be quite a laborious process. Um, we've known some clients with local banks in Hong Kong who have to go to the bank in order to do international transactions. And that can slow things down and be very frustrated. Um, the actual account opening process can be quite complex, can be quite laborious and take time. At the moment, HSBC is you know, anywhere from one to two months and generally requires a, a visit in person. And that visit in person can be mitigated um, if you appoint some nominee directors um, and the majority of those directors attend. The traditional banks have a lot of other services. So this might be letters of credit, uh, credit card, loans, overdraft facilities. Uh, it could even be as simple as MPF and, and insurance services. And being in with the bank makes those processes slightly easier to get and maybe quicker. Some of those services are free. Um, but some have either a, an annual fee or a, quite a high transaction fee, or indeed they might be using a, uh, a non-beneficial effects rate for you, shall we say. Important to know that in, in finance centers like Hong Kong, not all of the banking licensees actually do banking. So for example, some of the UK banks here, such as Lloyds and RBS, they don't have a branch, they're just international kind of offices. So if you're a, a UK company and you use RBS in the UK, don't expect yourself to be able to open up a, a Hong Kong account here in, in with RBS to do trading. New are the digital banks, and I've deliberately put banks in quotes there because whilst uh, some of the marketing uh, implies they are banks, and I'm guilty at calling them banks. Uh, they often don't have a full banking license, and they're more payment processing um, or that kind of deposit holding. Um, often they run on a per transaction cost, so someone like Neat will charge you to make payments, uh, and that's a, a nominal fee. They don't tend to have other services. So some of them, Air Wallets, we have their screen there, um, will have a credit card. They generally won't have an overdraft. Um, they won't have loan facilities, letters of credit, introductory uh, facilities, etc. Um, but the account opening is very simple. I think the last Airwallops account I opened with a client took about 48 hours um, to get open. Um, and their, their system for internet banking is, is great. They're designed to not have a branch. So you can do everything online. It's great security, but it's easy to have other people access uh, that you need as well. Uh, the FX transfers tend to be you know, built in and very, very simple. And what's great on some of these digital banks is they can actually give you a local account. So a, a UK account number for UK clients to pay into. And often sellers such as Amazon and eBay can pay into these very, very easily. Some things to watch out for um, is what's your need for access to other products um, and your need for third parties to access. And that might be as simple as a zero feed. In, in Asia, zero doesn't link to some of the more traditional banks. General security, um, is online banking available? What are the charges annual and per transaction? What is the account name going to be? Is it going to be in your name or is it going to be in the name of a third, of a third party? Do they take checks and cash? And for some businesses, that's very important. How easy are overseas transferred? Is it covered by the kind of regulatory deposit scheme to guarantee your money? And are currency options available? These are all very vital. Often I say to clients, start with a digital bank because uh, that's easy, quick, and very efficient, but then set up a traditional bank to hold your profits long-term and then build further banking relationships. That's it. Lots of options, uh, and very happy to talk to you and help you. Thank you.